Yo, thank God, um, the biggest liar, the biggest blackmailer in the city of South Africa, the biggest drug addict, a gay with a bad influence to the youth of South Africa, my boss, Prof. X, has been arrested. I've been working with him for a long time, and thank God before now I've been winding out. And thank God today this has happened. Ah, that phone helps me a lot. That's where all my things are. It helps you a lot, yeah. But you hear you at the station now. Come out. Come out, Chief. You have arrived. Come out. You can't just keep on staying here, like you're in a luxury here. My name is Tandile Fiwe Nkosi. Yo, I was with my bus at the club yesterday before the arrest. You know, he has been threatening me because I want out. He has been on my neck even with all the workers. Prof. S has been on neck threatening us with gun, even molesting us. So after yesterday at the club, there is assignment we want to write down and blackmail a man of God from Ghana stating the name with DNW. But I've been running out. Like, I don't want to do this. You know, but he has been on our neck with threats and guns and all that. And thank God today he's been arrested. Prof. X is a very wicked man. A very, very heartless man. Yo, I don't even know how to start this man. Thank God I've been wanting out before today. He's a hard drug dealer. Prof. X is a serial blackmailer. Prof. X is a very serious bad influence in the youths of South Africa. Prof. X deals on hard drugs. Prof. X is very desperate with money. Everything to him is money, money. Do people even know that my boss, Prof. X, is a gay? Where do I start from? Do you know that he molests young guys, young men? Do you know that it's against the word of God? He's not a Christian. He's heartless. To him, everything is money, money, money. He flaunt his gay partners, he flew them from East London to something. Even there is a woman crying for help that Prof. X should leave his brother alone. He be molesting young men, young children. <laughs> and under his care, we've been watching this. Prof. X even goes to Sangoma witch doctors for powers. All for money, money. He's a very serious blackmailer. The government should investigate him more and more. Now he has been arrested because he doesn't have a valid document to stay here in South Africa. Prof. X, my boss, is not. A, he doesn't even have the fear of God in him. He's just a vagabond in the streets of South Africa. He doesn't even have papers. And I'm calling the government of South Africa to, to investigate Prof. X. This is his passport. The authorities can verify. He's manipulating the youths and with his gay lifestyle, lies, duping people in the name of writing them down and all sorts of evil. This man come from nowhere, from Zimbabwe, coming here to, to mess this city up. Those people we blackmail, we talk about on his page, we lie against people like David Oyedepo, uh, Shefad Bushiri, Major One, Pastor Chris Oyakilome, uh, Pastor Chris Okafo, Prophet Jeremiah Moto Fufuini. We talk about these people, we blackmail them, we lie against them, we blackmail them. That's Prof. X. That's what we do, and now I'm worn out. And he's been on my neck, and thank God he's been arrested. We got girls that make calls during his live stream to blackmail people, to lie against people. That's Prof. X's work. That's what he pushed us to do. All the ladies, 
young women, they, they pay us to work, talk lies against other men of God, other prominent people. So, all the stories you hear on Prof. X page, all the testimonies, all the witnesses on the live stream, all the stuff you hear on Prof. X page, they are all lies. We frame people all, they are all scripted. All the ladies you see flaunting testimonies up and down, everything you see there, they are all serialized. They are all, they are all lies, terrible lies. Very, very honest. I feel terribly bad about this whole thing. Working with Prof. X has been a nightmare. Like with your two eyes, you see the terrible things this man has been doing. And because you needed a job, you need to just let it go. I feel so sorry, my people. Please pray for me. Forgive me for all the dangerous thing Prof. S has done, has pushed us and all the ladies to do. The voice note, the testimonies, the live stream, everything he wants on his pages, they're all lies. So, so sorry. Forgive me and thank God I've been running out till today before his arrest. And I urge the government of South Africa to, to look deeper into Prof. X and you will be shocked more things you're going to dig out of him because he's demonic. He's a bad influence to our country and our youths and it will not be accepted in this country.